guys, Craig and Jim. Welcome back to another dive line gear test. And thanks very much to the guys at Scuba Pro. We've got the Mark 25 first stage, along with the S620 Ti second stage, which we're really looking forward to, to having a, a dive with. I've never dived with Scuba Pro Reg. So we're gonna go and get these wet here at Stony Cove. We'll report back shortly. Probably a, bit, a little bit less than that down on the stain guard. Um, rig breathed really easy, it's absolutely effortless. So, yeah. Comfort, was it nice? Nice feel? Um, once I got used to it, when the mouthpiece is a different shape to my own. Um, I use one of these ones where you heat it up with a kettle. Oh, to yeah. my mouth, so it's so comfortable. Um, but for a standard one, yeah, really comfortable after the first few minutes and got used to something different in my mouth. And so, so we're going to swap over and uh, have dive too, so I'm going to try out the regs and you're going to try out the PCB. Okay. So, that was our in-water test. Let's now look at the first and second stage in a little more detail. We'll come back to the S620 Ti second stage in a moment. So we'll start with the Mark 25 Evo. It's available with both a yog fitting and here in Europe the more popular DIN fitting. This has got the DIN fitting as you can see. One of the things that I really liked was if you can see here that the, the knob that is attached to the valve is actually squared off. With gloves or wet hands, it made it really easy to tighten and to undo and remove the whole assembly. The Mark 25 Evo has two opposing high pressure ports. This enables it to be assembled either up or down, depending on your required configuration. There are also five low pressure ports. This maximizes the options on how you want to route your hoses. The Mark 25 is a balanced piston design. What does this mean? Well, it's really the ultimate in first stage regulators in that regardless of the depth you're at and the amount of air left in your cylinder, the intermediate pressure supplied to your second stage will always remain the same. The Mark 25 has the Extis system. This has been patented by Scuba Pro. It stands for Extended Thermal Insulating System and you can see the blue color through the open ports here. This thermally insulates the inner workings from the environment. This means that the Mark 25 Evo is equally at home in warm blue water or extreme cold conditions. The Mark 25 Evo has a swivel turret. This was new to me and when we did our on water dive, everything just fell in place exactly where I wanted it. I like that a lot. Now let's have a look at the S620 Ti. It's very familiar to those that know Scuba Pro regulators. It's an advancement on the S600. It looks similar, but the body is slightly smaller. However, the diaphragm inside is the same size as the old 600. Therefore, the, the sensitivity is even better. It's supplied with a rubber hose. I like rubber hoses. If there's any cracks or damage, they're very easy to inspect. They're very easy to see if there's actually a problem. So I, I actually prefer these to braided hoses. New is the internal barrel. Now made from titanium, hence the TI designation, it's both lighter and corrosion resistant. Like the Mark 25 Evo, the S620i is a balanced second stage. The combination of a balanced first and second stage together gives you incredible breathability no matter what depth that you're at. On the left side of the S620 Ti, you'll see that there are two knobs. The Venturi first allows you to set into a dive or close position. This mitigates against free flows in cold water conditions. The second 
is a resistance adjuster. This allows you to set the crack off pressure to exactly how you like it. Some people like it very easy to take a breath and some people prefer to actually have a little bit of resistance there. Both are very easy to operate even with gloves on. You'll notice if we look at the back that the exhaust is very wide. I hardly saw any bubbles. The wide exhaust sends your exhalation bubbles up either side of your mask. Great when you're taking photos. The comfortable bite mouthpiece is supplied as standard. One thing I really like, Scuba Pro have supplied this with a reusable zip or cable lock. So this pops off. You can remove and replace and then reuse the same cable tie. Well done Scuba Pro, I like that. The regulator is also suitable for nitrox mixes up to 40%. Another thing that Scuba Pro really has got right is the service intervals. This is two years, not your standard one year, or 100 dies, whichever comes first. So your long-term costs are certainly reduced. The combined weight of the first and second stage together is only 0.86 of a kilos, so it's a very light package. I'll show you what it comes with. The combination of the Mark 25 Evo along with the S620 Ti second stage comes fitted with the standard Scuba Pro R195 Octopus. It's a very good quality octopus and perfect for the job. The other item that is a must get is Scuba Pro's regulator bag. It is such high quality and really will protect your investment. If you found this review of interest, please hit our subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your support is invaluable to us. Coming up soon, we have some great guests, some exciting river cleanups, and some really, really good how-to videos. Keep watching.